Morning Board Game Geeks, uh, it's Doddy here from Summer Games again and once again we've got another unboxing um, with no warning again another Kickstarter has arrived um, which I kind of enjoy, it's quite fun. So, it's the one everyone has been loving and waiting for. Bah, 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 bah. Now, Yes. Let, let's. <laughs> I don't like politics in my game, but I'm hoping. Like from what I've read, it it seems to add a lot of um, variation to the game. It mixes it up a lot more. La, 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 la. Best feeling in the world. Stronghold Games. So, here we go. Dusk laser mining, minus one power plus. Requires two science tags. Okay. What? What? That's awesome. So you can play a massive card that cost you a fortune and play this again. Alright. Alright. Just down my nose. I don't want to cover like all the cards. I want to have like a little bit of surprise for it. Increase your production step for every different tag you have in play. Oh, that's pretty good. Yes, yeah, stale stuff. <laughs> Got more PvP. That's 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 the one. Sorry, I'm off off the off camera one side here. Uh, I find having titanium better than having money. Most of the time. Titan resources are worth one. Oh, sorry, I completely read that. I thought that was a trade. It's not. That means there's at least three to four cards that increase your titanium's value. <coughs> um, straight up gives you money. Tea party leaders. Ah, oh, lock it. Oh, it's just. Brexit on Mars, in it. Brexit on Mars. Saturn, so I, I, I believe that might be dangerous. The tourists. And what are these? Ooh. These, um, I'm gonna have to read. Corporations. Hmm. I'm, I'm reading, sorry everyone. Um, that one's quite naughty. So you gain 48, you increase your money income by 4. You reduce, you can in, uh, reduce your opponents by 2. Uh, well, 
बहुत है Even better, right? That's just, I think they're the stretch goal ones. This is the actual deck they release in tours. I'm just launching all the rubbish everywhere. Wait for more results. I'm seeing this as just positives all around. Oh, these are the election stuff. Oh my god, it's just all elections. Here we are. I don't want to read the election cards because um, I think that's more from when it happens. But I don't mind reading these ones, it's fine. This no for me either. <laughs> oh right, so you have to have a delegate ruling to play some of these cards. Okay, that's interesting. It's a reference card. Can I have a look at these? Because um, you get bored of looking at cubes. Ah, people! Look at little people. Neutral people. They got ties. Oh my god. Uh, what, I've got seven to five, you right? Mm, seven. Launch all that to one side. A little bit of a rule book, as per usual. This is what you do. You get things, you put things, delegate reserves, put people where you want. And then vote. Hmm. Oh, so you have, oh, I see, see, so you have the vote, uh, the voting cards coming up, so you see them three, three generations in advance, so you know what's coming up and where you want to shift uh, your delegates to get the best outcome of the card. Nice, like it, like it. Oh, right, each ruling leader gives all players a bonus. Which is nice. Which is nice. I like it. I like it. Let's read that. There's the Uji Bob where we put our little government ethics, edicts, and policies. And those are the things that are in play. 26. A little board. Yeah, look at that. Yes, yes. Finally, an engraved board. That's beautiful. Yeah, how annoying it was just having the normal boards, which. Felt like a placemat. Even worse than a placemat, it felt like a little leaflet. But that is a solid improvement, and I'm glad that was a stretch goal we all managed to get. Um, 
appreciate it, everyone. Well done. I'm so happy with that. And now I've got to put all this into the nether box. Because I'm happy. Um, so first impressions, um, uh, yeah, everything, everything's arrived. A new card to play with. Uh, a new system to play with. A new set of rules. Uh, we've got to learn because I, I, when I play the game, I avoid colonies. Don't ask me why. I, I just avoid the colony cards. Um, because it doesn't... It's not necessarily that it doesn't benefit me at times. It's... Every card I get in my hand just doesn't bounce off a colony, so I don't see the point in using it. Unless it's the block someone one getting a pretty good bonus, which I could take. Um, but then we've got this new voting system on events and edicts and policies coming in, uh, which could change everyone's turn pretty much, or what they can play and how much they can play, um, which I think is, sorry, uh, which I think is brilliant. It doesn't matter who gets put in charge, you all are going to gain a bonus, um, which, is, which is fantastic because when playing, if, if you haven't played the game, it's all about resources and there's only like one currency. Uh, which is these little cubes. Um, but you got, as I say, one currency, one token type. Um, you got multiple currencies, uh, like money, steel, um, the titanium metal, plant, power, and heat. And you have to try and balance them. You have to get pluses in each. So every time there's a new generation spawning, you've got more things to play with. Um, because you've got to colonize Mars. So, yeah. I, 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 I'm going to like to see what this brings to the table. But to play this with everything else, this is going to have to be either a two or three part episode or one big one on a live stream. Um... Uh, with multiple cameras I'm gonna have to get on it and uh, the the games are even bigger and better uh, I've still got nemesis to give a whirl I've still got, I've got now this to give a whirl with all the expansions on top um, yeah I need more cameras um but yeah uh, I can't wait to play it it's right in well, as I said, there's, there was no notification, so it's, it's just arrived. Uh, so I can't wait to uh, bring it to the table and, and see what happens, give it a bit of a review. Um, they have announced that they will not be doing like a player versus player element to it with backstabbing and whatnot, though they should create a new game, uh, which kind of... I want to say kind of follow this, but maybe do it over various colonies of various planets uh, with a betrayal element with companies trying to backstab each other. That would be a lot more fun and intriguing because um, you could put in cards which are assassination um, attempts which replaces one of your opponent's leaders um you could put uh, uh what am i thinking of propaganda reports out uh where it restricts the mining of a planet which reduces your opponent's resources income and then you can put in a probably a card that's a little off the top where you have an infiltrator who's skimming some of the resources from a planet. You know, just an idea there for a game. A few elements in it. Um, but that was the unboxing. Uh, my unboxings don't last long, so that's always good. Um, 
we did do our giveaway. Golden Stomper was the winner for our uh, the Gothic game. Uh, we hope to be doing another giveaway towards Christmas time. Um, and we were in talks and we are probably going to do another giveaway uh, once and if we hit 250 subscribers. Um, we are still looking at what we can actually give away. Uh, so please bear with us on that. We're going to have a little nose, see what we've got. Uh, that's just sat on the shelf, probably not playing anything. Or we find something in the shop and go, you know what, I had fun with that game. Let's do a giveaway. So, um, that's me. Uh, I'll upload this as quick as count and there'll be another one later on in the week. So, have fun. Keep on gaming, everyone. I'll catch you on the other side.